Zero FXB, it's 2025. Let's unbox the Flex Maestro C. Faster processor, HDMI output. We've got everything on the table, but you've got the Maestro, the instructions, some, oh, you've got the bracket there, and power cable, power supply, Ethernet cable, and look, that's like an audio cable. Interesting. Um, let's, I've already got the microphone for this some screws to hold the mounting plate on if you want the 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 folding sort of feet yeah, then you have to pay extra for them and the front cover and this unit is a lot bigger than you think there's the the bracket there they do give you a right angle ethernet and this thing is big it's 17 inches wide and i made it i think it was about set up i think it was seven inches high the screen it's an eight inch screen this is the bracket that's going to go on the back in a second. I've got my screwdriver ready. And yeah, quite a nice quick start guide here. Um, it's very intuitive if you ask me, the, the front of this device. And we've been lots of videos using it. Bandwidth, separate volume controls, large VFO. Push the VFO, you go into the menu structure. And via Wi-Fi, it will connect to your Flex anywhere in the world because it uses SmartLink. And you'll see that, that many of the suppliers in the UK and the USA have got these in stock now and a Martin Lynch have got them now. So let's get this bracket on. Now I haven't bought the, the battery they sell because it is about £200. Um, but it looks like I can't see another way of powering it because it's got a special, some special pins there. So I might have to get it if I want to go portable. Or actually another way is to, you know, this is a, a DC output. And it's got this pin on it. If you can find a, a battery that can feed this. I actually have got um, a power supply that will feed uh, a power bank that will feed just a UK main. So I'll probably do it that way. Before I put the bracket on, there's your Ethernet. And that's why they give you the L bracket. HDMI out there. And then you've got just here. And zoom in. Key speaker, line out. Uh, PTT HDST that's your power in there and then your feet if you if you do go for the, the sort of angle feet big bolt here these are the three we're going to use not sure what those two are for it could be that these four would, are almost like a standard TV mount aren't they I think that's probably what that is I mean it's just so big that's that's what I think when I look at it I think it's just so big um, so, three screws there, three screws here. It's not bendable, so once you're in that position with these three screws, then you're in that position. It looks like you have to go through these holes here to get your screwdriver through. So let me just get them on there. I sort of put the screws in first, and I'm going to turn it round and screw them up. Yeah, I think that system's working. Well, and uh, it's quite nice out here actually. You know, for winter, got the woods up there. And the nice thing is, with my Maestro and my Flex 8400 that sits in the shack, just here, I can go anywhere in the world and even have a, you know, HDMI out to another screen if I, but you don't need it, take it from me. I mean, these bu buttons are big, big. This is bigger than my 7610. So let's get some power to this. I'm just gonna show you, put it in front of my um my 8400 the flex and this carry handle is very convenient and the actual stand is quite nice it sits at a really nice angle i haven't took this off yet oh beautiful um so let's just quickly show you the size so here it is back in the shack there's the flex and look it's the same size as the front and the front is big so of course you can buy the flex with the front included and HDMI out and even an ATU. But then you've got, for me, it's, I found that very bulky because then you've got this big thing. If you want to control the radio, you have to take the whole thing with you. What I like about the flex is it's, it's really lightweight. Although it's big, it's very lightweight. Uh, so let's get this powered up. Right, we're in my crazy room. Let's just press and hold. It's like a computer now. Once we've got the Wi-Fi connected, we can log in anywhere in the world. Now that the screen is a lot clearer than what you're seeing, uh, but I've let it focus on the frame 
on the knob on the knobs in here and then yeah I, I just think it's beautiful so come on then I'll leave it live fast forward if it's boring now the nice thing is I don't have to connect an antenna to this all that is being done back at the base unit the 8400 and um, you can put the 8400 anywhere you want in the world I think this I, I do you can buy a cover for this all right, come on then. Don't have to press anything. Right, there it goes. Basically a computer, isn't it? All backlit, but all backlit these buttons anyway. Right, let's connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to literally do as it says. I'll connect to one of them. Connect, put my password in. And remember, the, the good thing about this, this, the smart link, so I'm gonna put my password and hit connect, is it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can do this. And once you set up smart link, which takes two minutes, you're using your radio at home um, anywhere in the world. So we're gonna go connect. I need to find a space for this now. Right, it says no radios available at the moment. I'm gonna log in here to smart link username password and just so you know if if i had my my flex 8400 on my local network it would have found that but i i'm using the worldwide system which is smartlink right as soon as i logged in that came up it's now found my flex and we're going to highlight it hit connect let's see what happens now you have prompts here there may be new firmware to download it is telling me to update. I am going to do it, and that is the latest one, 3.10. See if I can dim this down a bit. So we're going to go update, let it do its thing. Yeah, about 10 says there. It's going up a bit. I saw the other day, it was like, it is a while. So I'll pause until it comes back on. I've had to reboot it to uh, during the update, so let's try it now. Go like that and then go connect. Ooh, uh, more firmware updates where well, we've got a tick there. So I'm gonna click run. Get to this window. Oh, I hit a click, yo. That is beautiful. Speaker here sounds fine. Just let that load up. Oh, that is a nice display. Okay. I don't actually use 20 meters very much. Now, they call it slice. A slice frequency flag here. Each flag, and this is touch screen as well, uh, has controls. I'm just going to go through. I'm not really teaching, I'm just doing. See that? Antenna receive, transmit antenna. Tap the frequency, or you can press this, I believe. Oh, it's not doing it for me. I saw that you can press this. Ah, there it is there. You have to press and hold. And um, go 40. You can change all these colours. I prefer using this in this way as opposed to the computer, to be honest, because I'm just a, I'm a button pusher, I'm a, you know, a knob turner. So... Slightly off. See, it's showing. I have got the battery on order now. In the end, I just thought, well, I, I don't want to be lugging around that cable all the time, and the battery lasts for 10 hours. So, we've gone for the 8400 flex, which means you can have two flags at the same time. Let's see if I can get one on. Press and hold. Will it let me? Yeah, create slice. 
Da, da, da. TNF, that's notch filter. Let's have a look what this does. Meters. Look at that. I like that. <laughs> Tap that and they go back in. Display. Just that, your colours. You tap anything else and it goes. Let's tap here. Okay. All you've got radio. Function buttons. Or not used at the moment. Network. Audio. Transmit. TX band settings. Phone, CW, XVTR, Pro Force, memory, USB cables, spots. You can actually bring in your spots, and as you know, I, I'll learn it. We're already multi and GPS. My 8400 does have GPS installed. So, in theory, I could reply. I've got my actual microphone connected to my Flex 8400 base model. Um, power wise, I did see power. Just here, look. See the power, it's just changing there. So, give it about 40. And there is a tuner. Now, let's go 50. ATU here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. So one touch and it started tuning. Hopefully I won't get told off. Apologies. M0 FXB. Now oh, they seem fine. A and B. What if I press and hold? Receive. Oh, you, you can move the TX. So you know which one you're TXing on. Let's move that one to a different band. That one's on 20. I want the other one to be on a different band. Okay. Well, I'm tuning here with the right hand knob. And then there's your A band. Yeah, so I would say I'm not hearing that at the moment. I need to tinker with this longer. Um, TX receive, see that? A, B, lock. I press. There is a press function there. See, it says B menu clear, A menu clear. Power. Your band widths. Okay. Very, because what they've done is they've put everything that you actually use all the time. What about you press? Oh, these are all press as well. See that? Unprogrammed at the moment. HU, tune. Just for tuning. And that, isn't that a TX? Yeah, it is. Right. I think that's enough because this is just an unboxing video. I'm going to play with it for a while. Learn how to get because you can get two scopes on at the same time, can't you? And um, come back with more videos. Bye for now.